This video will demonstrate how to graph and or inequality. It also assumes that you know how to graph a singular inequality. For instance, if you just had x is greater than negative 2, that you can make that graph. So if you're unsure how to do that, this video might be a little above your head, and you might want to watch one that allows you how to graph an inequality in one variable. These are called compound inequalities. They're called compound inequalities because they're two statements joined by a conjunction. So let's get started. The steps are pretty straightforward. We're going to graph each individual inequality. We'll do some true-false analysis and then state the final answer. So to get started here, I'll graph x is greater than negative 2, which means to put a dot at negative 2. I'm just going to drop it down a line so it's easier to see. And then to graph the points that are to the right of that. Similarly, we'll graph x is less than or equal to 3. Put 3 on the number line. This will get a solid dot because it includes the 3. And it's always good to use your ruler to assist in doing that. Well that's step one which was to graph both individual inequalities. Then what I like to do is split this graph into kind of three areas. By three areas I mean left, middle, and right. And I'm graphing if you notice. I'm dropping those dotted lines down through the critical points. Okay, so let's take a look and do some true-false analysis. The numbers here to the left of negative 2 are false for the red statement here. Between negative 2 and 3, they are true for the red statement. And to the right of 3, they are true for the red statement. What I mean by that is a number from that region plugged in for x makes the statement true. So, let's take a look at the blue statement now. Blue statement to the left of negative 2, these numbers are true. Between negative 2 and 3, they're true. And to the right of 3, they are false. Now, the analysis we're looking for here is based on the conjunction. In an and statement, both pieces need to be true for the entire statement to be true. So here in the left area, we don't have two trues. In the middle area, we do. And in the right area, we don't. So we see we're going to take this middle area and blend these two lines together and pull our final answer above the number line by creating a line segment. What we're saying here is that all of the numbers between negative 2 and 3, including 3, make this statement true. Now if you notice, I use the word statement singularly, but it looks like I circled two things. Well, I didn't. I circled one. It's one statement when you glue two together with and, just like a sentence. Where if you take two independent clauses and join them with and, it is still one sentence. Okay, let's move right along here and bust through some of these examples. Here we're going to graph m is greater than 2 by taking an open dot and talking about oh, let me get my ruler talking about the numbers to the right okay and then we'll graph negative 4 put a little further away from 0 that I put the 2 on the other side and with a solid dot because it includes the 4, we will graph the numbers to the left because they are in fact less than negative 4. Now I drop in my guidelines to create left, middle, and right with regard to this problem and continue with the true-false analysis. Now for the red statement numbers less than negative 4 are false, between negative 4 and 2 are false, 
to the right of 2 are true. For the blue statement, m is a less than negative 4. Anything to the left of negative 4 is true. Between negative 4 and 2 is false. And to the right of 2, they are false as well. Now, in an or statement, only one true makes the whole statement true. So we're looking for one true or two trues, but a minimum of one. We see here in the left area, there's one true. We see in the middle, there are no trues. And to the right, there's one. So we're actually going to move up these two areas, the left area and the right area. So move up the, the dot here. On the 2 is open, 1 on negative 4 is closed, and just using my ruler again, going to move up those pieces. Okay, so again, numbers on either one of these pieces make this entire statement true. A uh, little easier to make an OR statement true than an AND statement because it's considered to be less restrictive. Okay, continue on. Let's take a look here. B is greater than 5, so we'll go to 5, put a, uh, a mark on the line, and then we're going to use a solid dot. Notice I'm using the lines of my paper too to help that, just to stay organized. It's a little effort to be organized, but you do get something out of it. It's going to be easier to read. And then let's look for less than 1, okay, which means an open dot at 1. And then the numbers less than that go to the left. Okay, so again, we'll put in our guide guidelines that help make us a left, right, and middle area. And for the red here, this is false, false, and true. And for the blue area, this is true, false, and false. Again, we mean the numbers in those area make the statements true or false. Okay, now this one's a little tricky. And this video is a little long, but I'm trying to give you the flavor of as many examples as you can. For and you need two trues. Okay, just for the logic of it. Both pieces of a and statement have to be true for the entire statement to be true. Well, if you notice, we don't have two trues in the left. We don't have any trues in the middle. And we still don't have two trues in the right. So there's no place that makes this true. Well, that means that this is in fact a null set. If you just step back and read it for a second, you can tell that makes sense because it says the numbers greater than or equal to 5 and the numbers less than 1. Well, you can't give an example of a number that's bigger or equal to 5 and less than 1. So. It makes sense through this formal analysis to get null set. Move my ruler out of the way and do the last example. So, if you notice here, we're going to graph negative 4. We need the numbers bigger than negative 4. So, they are starting at negative 4 and not including it. Hence the open dot. And then we need the numbers that are less than or equal to 1, which means including the 1, so solid dot, and then all the numbers to the left. Okay, so here, let's drop our guides in on the critical numbers. In this case, those numbers are negative 4 and 1. And let's see what we get. On top, we're going to get false, true, true. And on bottom in blue, we're going to get true, true, false. Now, or again, you need one or two trues. So this left area will be included in the answer. 
the middle will, because if you have two trues, you do have at least one. Then the right area will be included in the final answer. So when I kick all three of these areas up to the final answer, you see that what I get is the entire number line. Now, in the way that the last problem had no answer, because there were no numbers that made it true, this has infinite answers, because every number you say, every real number, is either going to be bigger than negative 4, or less than or equal to 1. So in these examples you see, you can get a line segment, two rays, no answer, or the entire number line. Feel free to rewind and watch it a bunch of times and enjoy.